Praise the Lord. This is the time of relief, the time of revelation, the time of liberation, the time of empowerment, and the time of favor. We are continuing with our study of 1 Samuel chapter 3, verses 12 to 36, by looking into the corruption of the covenant of Levi at the hands of priests Hophni and Phinehas, the sons of the high priest Eli. What is the covenant of Levi? The covenant of Levites means that the Levites must value their relationship with God more than any other relations, not relations of friendship, money, or fame. 2. They will be watchers or custodians of God's word. 3. They shall be teachers of God's word. Number 4. They shall burn incense, offer sacrifice and offering, that is, pray for the people. Number 5. Divine for people with Urim and Thummim, serves as God's oracle. And number six, they shall judge the matters of dispute among the people, defend the powerless and fend off evil. These terms and duties are all replicated in the fivefold ministry, pastor, evangelist, teacher, prophet, and apostle in the New Testament. Because priesthood demands that priests do not hold a secular position, God gave the temple proceeds or ministry incomes which are used to the Levites as the managers of his work. God directed that it should be used in three ways. One part, the tithe, first fruits and vows goes entirely to the Levites as their remunerations as God's steward. Another part, the various offering is to be shared between the daily demands of the work and in parts for the Levites' welfare. The third part is entirely God's, never to be touched. If this stays in the ministry, it is part of the ministry. The burnt offering, the blood of the sacrifice, and the fat of the sacrifice. The corruption of the covenant of the Levite, firstly, is the failure of God's servant to discern between what he may lay his hands on from the ministry proceeds from what he should never lay his hands. 1. The burnt offering. These are men and women, boys and girls, the souls in the ministry. They are not the ministers to be abused or used for his or her sexual gratification. They are offerings by fire, wholly offered to God. They are God's property. 2. The blood of the sacrifice. The blood of the members. Their lives, their sweat, their money, their time. Their livelihoods are not the pastors, they are gods. They are not to be treated as slaves, stealing his or her land. The fat of the sacrifice, the best of the best. This means the ministry takes the lion's share. The property and the bulk of the ministry proceeds do not belong to the servants of God. The greatest part of the ministry proceeds shouldn't go down the pastor's belly but remains in the ministry. The corruption of the covenant of Levites secondarily is when God's servant treats God's business as a mere money-making venture. Micah chapter 3 verse 11 says, The head thereof judge for reward, the priest thereof teach for hire, and the prophet thereof divine for money. Ophini and Phineas treat all temples proceeds as theirs, the produce of the anointing. They take decisions purely for financial gains, they teach for hire and they prophesy for money. They put no difference between the consecrated and the common. With their flesh hook of greed, right in the middle of the service, before God's portion is separated from the offering, they plunge their hands into the offering box, stuffing their pockets with hard currents, the fat of the offering. They send their minions, demanding people and their offering over to confidently to be allowed to put it into the offering box, they threatened forcibly wrenching it off their hands. Why God says his offering should be from a willing heart, they take theirs forcibly by intimidation and by manipulation. A curse of the house of Eli, valuing money more than your relationship with God, putting money above the ministry or making the ministry a money-making venture. There was a time David God's anointed called for an offering. Three men stepped forward and gave it. David weighed their offering deduced. 
This offering is these men's life savings, the best of their best, the fat. This is a bond offering, an offering due only to God. David poured it unto the Lord as a drink offering. It was such an offering Ophni and Phinehas to their woes, gulped down their throats because of their house of Eli. Wise is that servant of God that knows what is God's from what is his and what should be touched from what should never be.